angry guy here and women are struggling to survive as men become password bros and leave. So in another God is good moment, women are struggling to survive as men become password bros and leave. Let's just go ahead and jump into this article. So this is pretty intriguing. I've talked about this before, but it's titled when just one job isn't enough. Why are a growing number of Americans taking on multiple gigs? The story was written by Daniel Device from USA Today. And let's just see how it starts off. The number of Americans working two or more jobs has reached its highest level since 2020. Since the events of 2020, new federal data shows a trend that suggests more of us are feeling inflation's pinch. Nearly 8.4 million people held multiple jobs in October. The Labor Department reported Friday they represent 5.2% of the workforce the largest share of Moonlighters since January 2020. Employment statistics show that 5.9% of women worked multiple jobs in October compared with 4.7% of men. Roughly 5 million Americans held one full-time and one part-time job. Nearly 2 million held two part-time gigs. Another 1.1 million said they held jobs where the hours varied. Fewer than 400,000 held two full-time jobs. So as you guys can see, 5.9% of women worked multiple jobs compared to just 4.7% of men. That's over one percentage point higher. Okay? And we already know that men live difficult lives. So for guys, guys are just going to adjust or continue dropping out of the economy and walking away. This is, in, this is while women don't have the same luxury. The share of Americans working in multiple jobs reached 5.3% in the summer of 2019, then plunged during the early months of 2020, bottoming in the spring of 2020. The, uh, the figures had, has crept up since then. All right? Experts say people may be taking on extra work in response to inflation, which push, pushed prices up. 4.7% in 2021, 8% in 2022, and 3.5% so far in 2023. Guys, this is in the, the amount of inflation is insane. Inflation went up 4.7% in 2021. So the price of things sold went up by almost 5% in 2021. Then they went up by almost 8% in 2022. And then so far for 2023, they've gone up another 3.5%. You have done so, guys. You need to understand that when we look at these numbers, it's not you don't just add 4.7 to 8%, then to 3.5%. That's not how inflation works. There's a thing called compounding interest. So you have to look at it. How much did people pay in 2021? All right. What was you know what was the uh, what was the cost of goods in 2021? And then you look at how much they increased in 2020 and 2021, and then how much they increased again in in 2020 in in, uh, in 2022. So, for example, if you were paying five dollars for something in 2021, and it increased by almost five percent, which is for which is what four point seven percent is. That's almost five percent. You round that off to five percent, right? So they increased roughly five percent in 2021. Okay, then then first then. It's you're not going to be paying. It's not literally that plus plus this. No, no, no. It's that. It's whatever. It's five percent. It's that five percent plus whatever you are paying in 2021, and then, and then let's say that go, let's say that goes up to let's let's say you went from um, let's say you went from from that to 525. Now it's 525 times eight percent in 2022. All right. And then let's say you go from five, let's say you go up to like 550 now, right? Or 575. All right. And now it's 575. It's now now 3.5% of 575. So now you're up to six dollars. So it, it just keeps on creeping up like that. This is it's it, it's absolutely it's crazy. And the saddest thing is that modern women are now are now feeling it, this whole boss babe thing, and they're still doing it. 
because they're all glued to social media. They're still being told that they deserve trillionaires and that they're going to be a boss babe. But a lot of the women who tried to do the boss babe thing, they tried doing it. Their businesses failed. Didn't work out for them. They've been living these guys. They have to go out and have guys take them on these expensive dates so that they can eat. What kind of madness is that? Any man taking a woman out to eat is a fool. Is a fool. If I invite you out to, if I invite you out and you say yes, don't complain if I take you to the Cheesecake Factory. Don't complain if I take you to Denny's. Don't complain if I take you to Burger King. Burger what? Burger who? 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 Come, guys, McDonald's? You know how expensive McDonald's is right now? You know how expensive Burger King is right now? Guys, I went on the Burger King app. I am not joking with y'all. I went on the Burger King app. And it was like maybe 4 a.m. in the morning. And every Burger King that was open was selling a Whopper, a triple Whopper. Usually it's 12 bucks. They were selling triple whoppers for 20 bucks, $20. Someone left in my comments yesterday that you know that something is wrong with the economy when a Big Mac costs $18. When a Big Mac costs $18, you know something is wrong with the economy. This is all Bidenomics. You can see the effects. And guys, it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. You know the reason why? Because they're going to have to start printing even more funny money again. Something's going to happen, and they're going to have a couple of choices. Either you let people end up homeless, and there's going to be a lot of people who end up homeless. I talked about this earlier. Or you're going to have to start printing a bunch of funny money again and handing it out like candy. And every time you print that funny money, Inflation goes up even more. Inflation rose 4.7% in 2021, 8% in 2022, 3.5%. This is, guys, and it's only getting higher. It's only getting higher. The future is not looking bright. It's only looking like extraordinary hardships right now. People can't afford to buy food. Paying for necessities has become more of a challenge, and affording luxuries and discretionary items has become more difficult, if not impossible for some, particularly those at the lower ends of the income and wealth spectrums, said Mark Hamrick, senior economic analyst at Bankrate, in an email. Guys, many of you know we talked about this years ago where women were complaining about the pink tax that they couldn't afford toiletries, you know, menstrual products. Guess what? Here's the thing. Those exp the, 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 the ones that they like, those, those cost money. And those are going up. And they said that those should be a human right. When Venezuela crashed, they had no access to that stuff. No access whatsoever. And they were literally over there using rags. What do you think is going to happen in America? I've said this before. Guys, I've said this for so many years. I've said this for so many years. And I want those of you that have been following me for this long to remember it and repeat it with me and acknowledge that I said it. Society won't collapse. Groups of people in society will collapse. It will take a lot for society in and of itself to collapse. You will just have more people who have not versus those who have. That's the reality of it. Y'all, Every I talked about tent city for so many years. What has Trump said? Trump said that he's going to open up a ton of tent cities. Tons of them. Big, beautiful tent cities. But he doesn't have to do this. That's inevitable. With so many people becoming homeless right now, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to open up 10 cities. They're going to be all over the place. And I've already said this. Once you go in, you don't come out. You're going to have a lot of these single mothers getting evicted with their children. And they're going to bring, they're going to pull up a van. 
and they say, okay, we're going to take, listen, don't worry about it. We're going to take you to your own, to, to a new place. This is what's going to happen. All right. The social services department in conjunction with the FEMA department, they're going to pull up and say, we have emergency housing for you. Don't worry about this. We're going to move you into new emergency housing. And listen, and you're going to hear this mother, hear, hear the single mother tell her, her kids, come on, little, come on, children, let's get out of here. I ain't even like that place anyway. All right. We're going to a new place right now. They're going to bring us to our new home. All right. And the kids are like, yay, all right, grab your games, grab your video games, let's go, let's go. And everybody jumps into the van, all right, and, and it's, it's, it's a little strange because there's bars. It's like, you know, those police police vans where they have bars and meshes, like once you get in, you can't get out. And, they, and they, they're they going to hop in, like they think they're going to somewhere good, right? And, you know, the driver's there trying to act like everything's cool, like, hey, kids, you're doing good, kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lo and behold, and lo and behold, they don't realize that when they pull up, when they pull up into this place, it's not going to be fun. They're going to pull up. They're going to pull them up into Tent City, all right, run by the FEMA department. And once you pull in, you can't come out. Once they go in, you can't come out. There will be men. There will be men at the at the entr- entrances, entrance, all right, with firearms, and that's it. And y'all can they can't come out. And they're going to jump out the van like, wait, what is this place? What is this? What? And I say, okay, miss, this is where you're going. This is your new accommodations. All right. See that tent over there? That's that's all you right there. All right. And she's going to say, no, 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 no. Excuse me. I, we're not staying here. And they're going to let them know, listen. All right. So this, 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 this is the run around they're going to give them. Run around they're going to give them. All right. Well, listen, we're going to have social workers and case managers coming so you can go, so you can meet with your case manager. But for right now, please go ahead and have a seat over there. Okay, there's someone who someone will come around with food and and so and so. And this is this is how they're gonna do. And they're gonna basically it's like when you get locked up in an insane asylum, you're trying to get out, and they start they start giving you the runaround until you basically just have to sit down and go with it and you realize help isn't coming. All right, and you can't and once you go in, you can't come out. And that's really how it's gonna be. And eventually they're gonna realize, you know, they're gonna have to go and turn into the tent and everything else, and that's and that's really how it's gonna be. And then maybe three or four, four months after they're in there, that's when they might meet with a case manager, all right? Someone who doesn't care at all, like completely in disarray. <laughs> and she's like, she she goes and she meets with the single mother, and the single mother is there with the kids who are miserable. And there she's asking them questions about, like, you know, what's her work history and all of these other things. And she's like, yeah, because I need to get out of here because I can't be in here anymore with these kids. And, and, and the woman's like, yeah, I, miss, I understand the situation. Okay, we're going to review your case. Thank you for writing this information. And and, and, and the lady's going to say, so wh- when are we getting out of here? When can we get out of here? We'll we'll, we'll, we'll we'll reach out to you. You're going to you'll, you'll you'll be hearing from us. Okay, I would give it I would give it a I would give it at least a week. I give it a week. It could listen. Some people have some people get through with this within within a few days. I'd give it a week though, at least a week. Okay, and that's going to be the end of that. And Three weeks will go by and they, she doesn't hear anything from them, all right? Lo and behold, the lady who interviewed them, all right, the case manager who interviewed them, she, she at that very moment, as soon as she finished the interview, she literally marked down on the form, do not release. Do not release, all right? They're going to say, listen, if these people were out here, they were out here all these years, you had, you had, how old are you? You're 37 years old. You had 37, listen, you had, wait, how, you, you're 37 years old, all right? That's that gives you almost 20 years. 21, that gives you what 37? So that gives you almost 20 years. 20 years to do right. And over 20 years, since you became an adult, and you were out here for 20 years, and this is the life that you live. And what you want to go back out there on the streets? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. We are on there to keep it. Guys, you're gonna go mark down the paper, like do not release. Do not release. Because they have no skills and no plans to better themselves. People think that FEMA is a joke. FEMA is not a joke. Once you go in, you don't come out, all right? And I already I said this once, and I'll say this again. Tyrone is going to be king of Tennessee. When Tyrone wants some food, he's going to eat. When Tyrone wants some loving, he's going to get some loving, all right? Whatever Tyrone wants, Tyrone is going to get. Tyrone is going to be king of Tent City, and he will reign. He will rule with an iron fist. I've also said that, I've also said this, too, that you're going to have dudes come in there, all right? I said this. You're gonna have dudes coming there, grilling in the grilling in the front and sending in plates, sending in plates of food for Tyrone, Ray Ray, and Pookie. <laughs> Keep them well fed. 
keep them well fed. And you hear these women and they're like, oh my goodness, is that barbecue? I want some of that. And Tyrone's like, yes, don't listen to me. Don't touch my plate and don't look at my plate. All right? I'm going to deal with you when we're done because I need my back rubbed and there's some other stuff. <laughs> guys, could you imagine? All right? Could you imagine, guys? And then you know what? You know what's, you know what's messed up? Tyrone and his generosity. This is what he considered. This is what he'll consider generosity after he's done eating the meat, ripping all the meat off the bones, including the cartilage. He'll throw the bones to the kids and tell the kids that they can have the bones. And he feels generous doing that because he left the marrow in the bones. He could have bitten into the bones and sucked out the marrow, but he didn't do that. All right. He, he left the marrow in the bones so the kids can enjoy the marrow. That's how generous Tyrone is. All right. That's how generous Tyrone is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness, goodness, goodness gracious. Okay. Let's get to you with this article, guys, because I'm just having too much fun. People who take a second job may also be bracing for possible layoffs, which tend to peak at the start of a new year. They could be padding their coffers for the holidays. Women did this to themselves. I, guys, nobody's out here feeling sorry for the ladies. They did this to themselves. They made the decision to live this life. They wanted to wanted to be boss babes, and we see where this is. We see where this leads. Okay, people who take a second job may be bracing for possible layoffs. Guys, they're out here struggling. They're out here struggling in these streets. All right, renter notes that the numbers of people working one full time job and one part time job stands at an all time high. The number of workers with two full-time jobs reached a historic peak in September. One reason, she said, could be the rise of working from home. Remote, okay. And the events of 2020 triggered a, a massive growth of remote work. And da, 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 da. more jobs are allowing telecommunication. Since the start of the events of 2020, the share of workers holding multiple jobs has recovered more and more and suggestively even sometimes exceeds pre-2020 levels among those with remotable occupations. Guys, women are, this is the rise of the soft girl. You know, women in their soft girl era, all right, wanting soft lives, and they don't have, they can't clean, they can't cook, but but they are the table, and they're going to get a man who's going to provide everything for them, everything that they need. And they really out here trying to run this? Guys, this is a scheme. It's just, guys, this is no different than a pyramid scheme, all right? These were soft girl era women, they, they're out here with this. This is this, this a Ponzi scheme. All right. This is they're out here with their Ponzi scheme, Ponzi scheme relationship. All right. Soft girl era is a is a is a Ponzi is is a, is a, is, a, is a girl is a girl equivalent of a Ponzi scheme. Girl equivalent of a Ponzi scheme. Really out here with their Ponzi schemes. My goodness gracious. What do you guys think regarding this? Women are struggling to survive as men become password bros and leave. The guys are walking away. I've said this already that as guys, more and more men do this. With just a small number of black guys that are doing this right now, that's this costing the U.S. $5 billion. As soon as the passport Joe start to dip, guys, that's in the tens of billions of dollars. All right? Y'all really think the U.S. government is going to let that roll? Y'all think the U.K. is going to let that roll? And even if they tax these men, these men are not going to do anything. Because if these guys are forced to stay in their countries, they're only going to work enough to survive. But that's about it. And women are increasingly trying to find, you know, trying to find men so that they can, you know, older women are trying to find men now so they can live easier lives. Because the, the homeless rate, it, the homeless rate has skyrocketed among women. The largest group of homeless, the largest group of people that are becoming homeless are women and especially an older women. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away and cheers.